Urea is an amide compound and has two NH2 groups connecting to the carbonyl group which is also referred sometimes as carbamide. It is usually manufactured to be stored as a solid, commonly in shape and form of prills and granules. Liquid ammonia is pumped and carbon dioxide is compressed and transported to reaction chamber. The product from the first reaction, ammonium carbamate, flow into a decomposer where the second reaction occurs. Ammonium carbamate is subsequently dehydrated by the application of heat to form urea and water. The major impurity in urea is water and also unreacted ammonia, carbon dioxide and ammonium carbamate. These are removed using distillation tower and evaporator. Ammonium carbamate will be decomposed back to ammonia. Optimum temperature should be maintained so that the urea remains in molten state. The molten urea is passed through nozzles inside the prilling tower. Urea gets solidified in the prilling tower and air helps in shaping it in the form of prills or granules. Urea is then stored. The combined reaction shows that two moles of ammonia reacts with one mole of carbon dioxide to form one mole of urea product and one mole of water. The reaction is reversible reaction. This reaction has two steps which is formation of ammonium carbamate followed by dehydration of ammonium carbamate to form urea product. The reaction conditions for the urea production in the combined reaction are as stated above. In the industrial production of urea, the raw materials used are carbon dioxide gas and liquid ammonia. These reactants will enter into the urea synthesis tower, where the reaction takes place, and urea is produced. The reaction occurs in a range of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius and 120 to 250 atmospheric pressure. Concentrated ammonium carbamate from distillation tower enters flash drum. After the flash drum, 80% aqueous urea enter evaporator forming 99% molten urea. After the last process in the prilling tower, urea product is collected in the conveyor. In urea synthesis process, the conversion of carbon dioxide into urea determines the material consumption. In order to improve the conversion of CO2, the structure of urea reactor plays a significant role. Liquid NH3 and gaseous CO2 are both fed from the bottom of the reactor generating an upward movement of the phases to react and produce urea. The optimum conditions to operate urea reactor are around 150 to 200 degrees Celsius and 150 to 200 bar pressures. This reactor approaches the behavior of tubular, plug flow reactor in which sieve plates are installed to prevent back mixing. On the other hand, high efficient plates make the sufficient contact between liquid and vapor on the plate, which enhance the heat and mass transfer process.